Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to Pop Turnative. This is the podcast and talk show. We have digital discussions from the worlds of TV, film, news. Music, lifestyle, everything really depending on the guests. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Permiotis. On social media, you know me as PD Beats. We're talking to a filmmaker. His newest film will be premiering at South by Southwest. It's called Jacob's Wife. Travis Stevens is with us. Travis, welcome to Popternative. Thank you for having me. It's exciting because self, everyone knows what a big scale South by Southwest is and a lot of amazing films and a lot of amazing pop culture and music. I mean, has it hit you yet that your movie is going to be basically part of South by Southwest. Uh, it's a, it's a dream and it never stops being amazing. I know it is. It, it's crazy. Did you always envision? Cause you know, say well, girl, uh, girl on the third floor. I mean, you wear many hats in a lot of your projects, you know what I mean? You're not just directing them. You're doing a lot of different things. Did you always, did you always envision that when you got into making films that you were going to just not just do one thing, Travis? I think when I got into the business, I didn't know how the business. And so I do a lot of different stuff because uh, that's the only way I've, I've found to get the movies made. So maybe there'll be a certain point where I can just do one job. And that would be very nice. <laughs> Is it one of those things where, because it's funny because there's, there's, you're seeing a natural kind of shift where everyone's wearing many hats and doing a lot of different things. And all of actors want to get behind the camera. Is there one that you kind of prefer over the other? Or do you kind of just like them all? Like, Do you like writing? Do you like producing? Do you like directing? Is there one you could choose from or is it kind of hard? No, I mean, I think they all have uh, – they're all great in different ways and and what i'm really excited about now is to be able to spend time you know being creative at the writing stage carrying those thoughts through to the producing stage and then the directing stage uh as a producer you're sort of your job is to help nurture and develop somebody else's vision yep as a writer director producer your job is to nurture and develop your vision. So that's been nice. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about Jacob's wife. Let's talk about this film. Um, I saw the film. It's it's one of those things where, I mean, a lot of people want to experiment and try different things. I mean, you've done this in this film. There's a lot of things, because I've seen your past work as well. There's a lot of things that happen in this film that, you know, <laughs> make you go, whoa, and kind of hit you, kind of come out of left field a little bit. Um, was it kind of the plan with these characters, Travis, to kind of do things that were going to make you go like, whoa, like that just happened? Because the characters are very complex and interesting in this in, in this film. Yeah, and thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad uh, that you picked up on that. I mean, my concept for the movie was the movie is going to hit you in the head the same way. <laughs> so, like one way, and then something happens, and everything goes crazy. I, I absolutely, and you know, you are someone that's known for working in the genre of horror movies. That's kind of your, that's your wheelhouse. Um, when did you kind of realize that that was the genre you wanted to work in? Well, I think my very first memory of being alive, like as a child, was watching a horror movie through the vent in my family's van at a drive-in. Mm -hmm. So it's always been a part of me. I mean, I, I love uh, a wide range of movies, probably watch more docs than, than anything else. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you like heavy metal music and you play heavy metal music, you're always going to like heavy metal music, even if you put on a classical record. Absolutely. So. One thing that, that I'm really excited to ask you about, because it's in this movie, like what, I, what I'm talking about right now is in Jacob's Wife, and that's why I want your opinion on it, is I... I'm a huge horror movie fan. I love horror movies, but I love where we have gotten with horror movies where you don't just need the jump scares and the gore to scare people. This film indeed has that. However, this film also has 
very uncomfortable dialogue between characters that say certain things to each other, like at the dinner table, that make you kind of scared. What do you think about dialogue-driven scares in the horror films, Travis? Yeah, we're at this point right now where people realize that you can use a horror movie to talk about whatever stuff you want. And, and this uh, focus on characters, focus on uh, the truth, on what their situations are, is really exciting because you can do stuff beyond just so and so goes to this place and somebody with a chainsaw comes after them. <laughs> there's well, there's more ways to scare people now. Yeah, which yeah, is true. which is what I think you did with this film. Um, Phil Brooks, also known as CM Punk, uh, he's someone you have worked with. Uh, he was in Girl of the Third Floor as well. I mean, it's interesting when people from it's all it's 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 he was part of pro wrestling entertainment and 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 UFC, so he has that kind of performing aspect. But he, you know, now is doing films. When you kind of first worked with him on that first film and then this film, what was that kind of dynamic like? Because he's just excellent in these films, but again, comes from the, you know, wrestling athlete aspect of things, not the not, not the acting. So it's interesting to see that. Yeah, I mean, I think he's just a magnetic performer. Yeah. And I think he's a really, really good actor. And the more people get a chance to see him and the more people hire him, we're going to have a bunch of Phil Brooks movies to watch for, you know, till the end of time. He's a really, really hardworking working smart, fun, funny actor. It, it, it is great. And it, it's one of those things where you know, he, he's been in a lot of horror movies as well. And, but again, I could see him doing, you know, comedy drama. You can kind of throw him in anywhere, um, which I think is really cool with this film. Were there any specific, you talked about a little bit at the beginning Travis, but were there any specific things you were hoping to do in this film that was a little different than other films that you've kind of done in the past, Travis? Yeah, I think there were two things. One, I wanted to make a movie that showed the world what a great actress Barbara Crampton is. Mm -hmm. And two, I wanted to, to both homage my favorite uh, horror film that this sort of falls into, this genre, this subgenre, homage it and maybe add something new to that uh, sort of canon as well. So trying to come up with really fun ideas that we haven't seen in this type of movie before. Maybe not horror because, you know, horror has created this whole area where, aside from what we were talking about, different ways to scare people, I'm seeing a lot of other genres, though, doing genre bending. And even though it's not a horror movie or a thriller, even if it's a comedy or drama, it kind of throws in the horror aspects and there's elements of horror and thriller in them. Is that just a testament to how powerful the genre of horror has become, Travis, where it's kind of intruding into other genres as well because i find that interesting i would like to think so but it may just be a fact that horror is such a the, the horror community the horror fan base is so reliable mm -hmm. that it may just be economics mm -hmm. people may go hey they won't watch this but if we put a the horror element into it maybe we can appeal to more people mm -hmm. you know so it's it's hard to say. I definitely, you know, it's in TV, it's in literature, it's in movies, it's everywhere right now. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how long it lasts. You talk about kind of making the movie, you know, working with Barbara and doing that. But at one point too, you know, you're you're known for a lot of your horror movies and you've obviously found something that's worked for you, worked for your films where it kind of feels it, it, it's comfortable as well. Do you find as a society as well um, and, 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 you know, the entertainment industry, everyone's trying to know, like, what do you think of the whole, everyone wants to make things better and experiment and try new things. But if something's working and you have something and you have maybe like a formula for a horror film, I mean, why change that, right? Like, some things have to be changed, but do you know where I'm coming from a little bit with that? Yeah, for sure. And I, I think the difference is, are you making art or are you making a product? Mm -hmm. And if you're making art, you're going to change things because otherwise it would get boring. Yep. Um, there's, a, there's this abstract expressionist painter, Clifford Still, who uh, had, had worked with Mark Rothko 
Martha Rocco started having some success doing this certain type of painting. And so he only painted versions of that painting again and again and sold them again and again and again. And Clifford still was like, you're no longer an artist. You're now just a, you're, you're a factory. Well, I, that's a very interesting point, but I see it too with my show where people ask me, you know, your show is doing well and everything. And it's because I do things that work. People love my horror. Like I love horror movies. People love my horror movie discussions. I want to interview people from the horror movies. So I do, I do what works too. Right. And I think it's the same with your films as well, where, because it, it becomes, I mean, th this is, this, this is your job. This is what you do to make a living. You make these movies, right? Is there, is it, could there be a balance between what you said about the art and the product? Well, I think the more you do something, hopefully the better you get at it. Yeah. So you become uh, knowledgeable, reliable. You can help other people sort of, you know, avoid quicksand and, and other hazards on the way. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of, of using that experience and still looking forward and still trying to push things forward without, you know, totally ignoring everything you've done up until that point. So, yeah, I do think there's a things absolutely and before we wrap up quickly obviously you hope people enjoy it you hope people you know recommend it to their friends specifically what are you hoping they get out of jacob's wife when they watch it travis i hope that people on one level enjoy these performances by some beloved genre actors i think barbara crampton and larry fessenden uh bonnie aarons sarah lynn mark kelly naisha bell they all do something in, in their characters that it's really, really fun and, and really truthful. And then I also hope they enjoy this sort of throwback to a fun, wild, crazy 80s style horror movie, which is sort of in honor of Barbara Crampton and the movies that, you know, got her started in this biz. Amazing. Well, Travis, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turnative. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me and I hope you have a great festival. Yeah, absolutely. So, South by Southwest, and then I believe the film is going to be available in theaters and digital in April as well, right, Travis? Correct. April 16th, across the U.S., VOD, and whatever theaters are safe for people to attend. Amazing. And where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? At Travis Stevens on Twitter, at Travis Stevens on Instagram. Twitter's political, Instagram's artistic. <laughs> Perfect. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Travis Stevens and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.